on the last episode of Web Life Atlanta. Okay. You know, I don't do comfort branding today. Okay. And I don't do ambushes. I was dressed for brunch. And then, you know, everybody else, I guess, I don't know, maybe he was passing out barbecue invitations when he was telling me about the brunch situation, but I mean, that's exactly what everybody else came for. Not everybody else, but Carl. I just put on my little, my hood gear. Okay. Okay. Brandon doing only fans? I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't know. Because I didn't even know that Brandon had an OnlyFans. Like, now I'm just here for the tea. Someone that's decided to start an OnlyFans doesn't necessarily mean that they're broke. I actually got into the OnlyFans community because I was broke. I think that it's great that we are having a conversation about other people's business. Yeah, so, so speaking of which, Carl shooting shots, Brandon's shooting shots. It was a lot, it was a lot more stress than this than you would have thought. Thank you so much. Drink the fuck out. <laughs>
family, a few kids and stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I got the kid. Very blessed to have mm -hmm. him. But the whole marriage relationship type situation, it's it's been hell. Right. And I put all that energy to it. And it just went for naught. Like, who waits till you pay for a dinner and then after the fact they tell you, oh, you know, by the way, Mike, I really don't see anything romantic between us. Years ago, he expressed and professed how much he was attracted to me. Like, I wanted a friendship and a business relationship with Mikey. It would be extremely platonic. Um, how did he take that? I don't necessarily think he took that so well. It's like the universe is kind of fucking slapping me in the face, throwing me like, well, this is what you're never gonna get, what you're never gonna have. Don't like my fucking fairy tale. And now I'm forced to like, be a good friend. I, don't, I am being a good friend. I'm gonna go to the wedding because I want to celebrate them, but I'm just, mm -hmm. I've had mixed feelings. I'm, I'm happy for them, but I'm just wondering like, yeah. when is it gonna be my fucking turn? Like, I don't have it in me because I'm just wondering like, no, when the fuck is it gonna be my turn? When do I get to meet him or her and live relatively happily ever after? You know what I mean? Like. Speaking of weird friends, what the fuck happened at your brunch? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna just be a thousand percent with you. Like, what, what the fuck was that? I thought Carl was like a cool dude. I like, have, what happened? I have never, ever seen Carl act the way he did as the way he acted at that brunch. Man, you're not gonna be giving no uh -huh. Gone with the wind vibes today, right? Yeah. Cause you know, like I just need this to be like a calm situation. He came in there with all this rah rah energy or whatnot. It was really like on ten. Like, like he, he was on ten. Like he walked in. He always got that auntie stroll. You know when he. Yeah. It was but this bad. time he was like real, real, real extra with it. And I was just like, um, sir. Like I said, as soon as he walked, I said, Carl. I said, what's wrong? Like I knew something was up the moment he walked in. But then when he we were sitting at the table and he started talking to Chris June. And he was just like, oh, did you know Mikey? Did you know um, Brandon has an OnlyFans? Of course I know you have an OnlyFans. Of course I know. I was talking I said, don't bring it up to you because like that's so infuriating. Like it was really pissing me off. So like, he started trying to like bait me like, oh, well, why are you so upset? Why are you being so defensive? I said, because that's my friend. He's trying to talk about what he does for work in a derogatory way. And he's just like, oh, but you too defensive. You just, I said, if this was you and somebody else is bringing your name up at the table, I would be the exact same way. <sighs> I don't really have too much to say about Carl because Carl really is, just, he's changed my whole perspective of him. Like, I, 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 okay, this is what I will, I will give him one more opportunity. I, I really want to have a conversation with him and I think that you should mediate it. I, I, it needs to be had. I want to be able to talk. I, I, I want to I understand where this came from. Like, was it shady? And if it's shady, let's go ahead and bring some sunshine to some shit. It's Say just an awkward situation because it's I have to work with him. Like, we have our radio show coming up on Wednesday and I oh haven't God, seen you guys do the radio show or spoken to him. Like, right, he gonna talk to me. I was asked to do it. Bitch, I asked you to do it because I got tired of people overlooking you, uh -huh. disrespecting you, and not taking into account your talent. But we know you get down when you get down. Listen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who have never been to Piedmont Park in Midtown Atlanta, um, she's no breeze to just walk through. Like, there's, of course, there's a directory here and there, but when you don't give us specific directions, we're gonna be walking around with chickens. Like chickens with our heads cut off. So, that's exactly what the fuck happened, ladies and gentlemen. I, I didn't know whether it was, we didn't know where the fuck the wedding was, okay? You don't know how many gazebos they got in the goddamn park? Not to mention, it's raining. Um, I have on my good shoes, my good shoes. And we have to walk through, you know, very muddy areas because like I said, it's fucking raining. Like it's... Mm -hmm. so Slap you... in the face. It's just disrespectful at this point. So we chose Piedmont Park because it's super duper popular. It's Pride Weekend. So the park is kind of booming. Underneath the gazebo where the lake is because I like that area. I like that. I like that place. It's working out. It is raining today, but our officiant told us that rain on your wedding day is actually good because it kind of represents like a completely fresh start in the beginning. So I was just like, mm, I'll take it. Looking gorgeous as ever. Like, oh my God, like I can't believe I'm about to make her my wife or have her as my wife and spend the rest of my life with her. 
and we're all just walking to the park in the misty rain or whatever. And I got my little speakers above my head, like, you know, singing out, let's get married. And, you know, it was, it was really cute and fun. Like it was just all great experiences. And the whole day we were saying, I can't believe we're about to get married. I can't believe we're about to get married and da da da. You know, it was, it was great. I knew my path with you would be different, but I had no idea that it would, you would end up here today. You're such a special person, and I'm honored to spend my life and heart with you. It's a perfect day. I thought I would be like a ball of nerves because I've been engaged so many times before, and once I just literally didn't show up uh, on the day she was getting married. So I, I was nervous last night. Like I was just like. I'm not ready for this, but today I'm waking up and it just feels like a regular day with my wife. All right, it is my honor and very much so my privilege to announce on this angelic day for the very first time, Mrs. and Mrs. Squire, you may kiss each other. Oh I don't want to discredit anyone else's situation or lack thereof, but I just think it's real fucked up how Mikey seems to kind of be shading us on our special day when he didn't even really need an invite because are you that important in my life? No. And so I just feel like no matter how you feel, you should just be appreciative that you're even here because there's a lot of people who did not get the invite. I'm happy for them, but I'm not happy that it's not my turn. So I decided I'm just really gonna talk to Mikey about his lack of fucking respect. Like the, the courtesy he just did not give us. Like I saw the side eye. Like I feel like you guys, just because we're up there in front of y'all and we're looking at each other does not mean that my peripherals are not working. I saw the side eye, we gonna talk about it and we gonna hash it out or we not. So me and Larry, we go way back anyway. We were on the Culture Club on A Connection TV. So we're riding around and... I hope Mikey understands I was out of time. Um, yeah, no. How was it? <laughs> it was something. It was definitely something. Uh, well, the venue was not a venue at all. It was a living room. Um, the food was good. And on the way to the restaurant, he was uh, telling me about brunch, which I was like, man, I'm so glad I wasn't there. But yeah, it was, it was, it ended up being kind of messy because Carl Lavonzel was there and he had questions about Brandon's OnlyFans account. Carl was there talking. Brandon doing OnlyFans? And talking. Ooh. And talking. Did you know your good girlfriend is doing OnlyFans? She Popping it open all over about a lot of different things, but mostly about Brandon's OnlyFans. And, you know, Brandon didn't exactly respond to that. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no, no. no, no, no. It's not podcast. No, 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 no. It's how boring. Snooze well. fest is what it is. Brandon was saying that, you know, you don't just do OnlyFans because you don't have money. Someone has decided to start an OnlyFans doesn't necessarily mean that they're broke. They got into the OnlyFans community because I was broke. Um, but we did see some clips and... Some clip? What are you... Are you kidding? Um, I think people were under the impression that it was going to be more HBO After Dark and it was more like Coco Dorm. Oh, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what's up? <laughs> so, my question is, at, um, how did they show clips? Like, I'm confused, like, why? Well, Carl had some pictures, um, and... I mean, I hadn't seen it. it. It just puts it into a different context, you know, like when you, you actually see it. Oh, see, I didn't get this far. I did not get this. I mean, Mikey didn't say anything. Mikey seemed to be a little bit more mad than Brandon was, actually. Carl, let me be very serious with you about this. I'm gonna put you out if you bring that up. I do think that Mikey gets a little bit invested too much in the people around him and some of their own stories. Yeah, no, Mikey was like, 
He, he told Carl to get out. Well, know. I'm glad I was not there because I just, no. I don't like that type of energy. Like, if you got an issue right. with somebody, just talk about it. But, like, this whole trying to shaming, shaming him because he does only fans like that's his business yeah. like i like you haven't you said you haven't seen his content and i haven't seen his content because i don't subscribe and he was passing around pictures and videos from brandon's only fans whatever he's doing it why ever he's doing it that's his business like leave that man alone so that's why i don't have an opinion either way but i'm just like i feel like people who do sex work get a really bad rap I, I I get what you, I get what you're saying, but at the same time, I'm like, is that any different from say, like Candy being a singer and then doing like a burlesque show or Candy Coded Nights, selling sex toys? Yeah, but he not Candy, at least not yet. Oh. <laughs> the thing that stuck out in my head, he said I was expecting HBO. After dark, and I got Coco Dorm. Now, the thing about it is that me and Mikey have a radio show together that we co host together. Now, it is the Hey Mikey show, but Mikey asked me to co host it because let's just be honest I bring the people, he brings the material. What's up, everybody? We're back. You're listening to WTT Radio's The Hey Mikey Show with K Star. What's going on, K? Hey, sir. We in here, and it's about to be a hell of a show. We got my boy Trey Morris in this thing. So, yeah, you know, pretty much. Me and Carl are about to do our show like in the next hour or so. I came in. He's already sitting there working on the keyboards and the other stuff, getting things ready for the show. Okay, so, you know, hey, hon. Hey. It's been a while. I haven't seen you since your little brunch. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's been a reason for that. Oh, what's like? I mean, you know, we gotta work together, so you know what's up. Yes, bitch, I'm being quiet. I mean, y'all upset? You just threw me out the brunch. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Like, why y'all so upset with me? I so I haven't seen Mikey since the brunch, where he decided he wanted to put me out. Saying what everybody else has already said. I was being a friend and telling what it was. No, I, I really don't feel like you was being a friend. And for me, like, I'll be honest with you. Like, I've never seen you with that type of energy before. You what walked, energy I, did I have? Carl, you walked in with this whole bravado. Like, you came in to start some stuff. But I, see, I'm asking Mikey exactly why were you so upset? Because honestly, me and Brandon could have had that. You know, it's going to be some light shade, some light reading. That's what I expected, but it didn't seem to escalate until Mikey decided to jump in there and go to a thousand. Now, why are you so upset? Now, this is a, a real question at this point. What do you and Brandon really have going on? There's no reason why you should be that upset about somebody talking about your friend. And I thought that, I, wasn't that a friend thing of me to do to bring it to your attention? Not the way that you did it though. You could have did that to me one-on-one -on -one away from everybody else. Cause I didn't want to make that. I did situation. at first, but this is, we were having a call, brunch. Call, no, matter, friend. no matter how you paint that, that is not how you bring information to somebody out of situation surrounding other people. It was just not conversation for the table. I should, but first of all, I'm gonna put it to you like this. If you are feeling that independent enough to go ahead and have your, you know, your only fans or whatnot, then you should be good for everything. You should but, be, let's talk about it. It's, you sitting there spreading it from east to west all over the internet. Okay, How's okay, having a conversation okay. about a table amongst five people a problem? That's just not how you present information to people, and it just wasn't the place for that. I'm not saying you can't talk about it, mm -hmm. but the way you presented it was real salacious. But I do apologize for how it came off because I didn't want to try to come off like I was trying to be messy. Just I was looking like you know we were talking about body positivity and stuff. But so it's, that, what's no, the no, problem? No, 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 no. That is He's not showing his body. body. That's uh, it ain't body positivity. You don't feel like it, like it is. That's erotic. It's it's I mean it's, it's it, positive. But either way, you showing his naked body parts at a table. It's on the fans. Everybody has seen it already. Okay. What's the problem? Uh, let me just tell you this. Please don't do that. And, this you know, is public and information. If I have another okay. event or another dinner, breakfast, whatever you want to call it, please don't do that. Okay? It's just like, I work in media. So, like, you know, when I feel I, work I work, too. Exactly. But, I, like, we have very different tactics on how we go with things. So, you know? why didn't you set up an interview with Brandon to ask him about it? He was right to, here. Why don't you do that? He's like, but listen here, Mikey. Aren't you a journalist? Aren't you a blogger? It's not always writing about situations that people might not have liked. Mm. So for me, being a journalist, that's my first duty, journalistic integrity. My thing is, you know, everybody wants to be Hollywood. Everybody wants to be in entertainment. If you really get big enough, all media is not going to be in your favor. I have a duty to my fans and my readers and my listeners to say, hey, 
This is what happened. You asked me for it. This is what happened. This is his seven. I like to do quotes. Mikey, shouldn't you understand that? Why don't you, I could do that. You got, use your platform, set up a professional interview with him you to know, ask him about his OnlyFans. That is very But I mean, I, should, I like to seize the moment. I mean, let's talk about it. Yeah. There's, a, there's a guy that's on his OnlyFans. Is that the boyfriend? I mean, I believe so. I don't know. And don't he got a man? Yeah, but what does that have to do with anything? I don't, don't know. I don't subscribe to him. Is it that your roommate? It is. Is roommate, it your friend? Friend. So I can honestly understand why people would think that there's a sexual situation between Brandon and myself. You know, we live in the same space. I mentor him. We help one another. Uh well, What's up, pretty lady? Oh, but I am about to crash this shit because I'm a lady. Hi. Hey, Carl. Hey, bro. What's going on? You know. What was that look about? You just gave me a whole look. Oh, you don't like looks. Oh, you no. don't like looks? What, what, Lacey, wait a minute. What is going on? You got all the looks, but you don't like looks. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Uh, Lacey, That's crazy. I don't, what is this? And I'm really gonna confront him. Like, what the hell was your problem at my wedding? And if you really think I'm about to work with you after the shade you threw at me and my wife, mm -hmm. think again. Okay. You always try to act like you don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on, especially now for her. I that appreciate you sure. for coming to my wedding. Thank you for having me. Because some people didn't it. come. I know I had missed her wedding, but apparently Mikey did not miss her wedding. Well, hope, wait a minute. See, what happened was, I didn't know I was invited. It was in the group message. I know, and I was like, I saw it later. He did just, like, somebody told me that earlier. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I didn't even know. So right, like, I was like, they got I married. I saw it, I said, oh, I wasn't invited to that, but it looks really cute. Congratulations yeah, to the cute. Squires. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations to me? Yeah, me? congratulations to you, Are you yeah. happy for me? Yeah, I'm happy for you. Hmm, that's crazy, because your face didn't say you was happy for me. All the looks all the people saw didn't say you was happy for I don't, me. I don't know, I feel, I feel so attacked today, like. <laughs> said she started going into the fact that Mikey seemed like he was a little bit jealous of her wedding. So you don't remember rolling your eyes? I don't remember. All. You don't remember cutting your eyes? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay as I, as I always am, I guess. Weddings are hard for me. Why? Because, like, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to ever get married or I'm going to ever meet somebody who wants to be with me. I can't relate to that because I've never really just been single. Enough to, like, get to that point. I got a Joan Clayton moment. Mm. Come to find out, Mikey's jealous that she didn't got married. Like, how you mad? You on your Joan Clayton from Girlfriends type stuff right now. Like, right, but it's like... <laughs> I said I'll shut No, up. but that, and that's cool. But I mean, like, when I come in, I'm asking you about it. Don't lie and act like I'm you not, didn't feel that way. But I didn't know I was rolling my eyes or anything. Like, I, honestly, that was a subconscious reaction if, if I did it. I apologize. And I was actually kind of surprised. And I felt kind of bad. I'm not trying to, like, come off like this really bad friend. I mean, I was there, but I mean, it was, it was difficult for me to be there. I was kind of like teary-eyed or whatnot, because I'm just wondering like, when or if this day is ever gonna happen for me. When he started explaining to me how like, he was happy, but him being there watching us reminded him that maybe he might be alone for forever. And like, it can be really hard to be happy for other people when you just kind of feel yourself standing still. So, I don't know. So, I, I mean, I apologize for coming off like that. Like that, I'm really embarrassed, like, yeah. Well, no, yeah. I can't. I can't be mad at you now. Cause I mean, now I just want to hug you. <laughs> I just kind of felt so bad. And it's like, how could you be mad at somebody you know who's really going through something like? That? I'm I'm really like okay, I love you. I love you too. So let's talk more about this. Okay. Um, because I really want you to join this and just mm -hmm. come with me some ideas that you have for the show. I really want you to have a segment or two yeah. on here. We do it every Wednesday from seven to nine. So. All right, I'm gonna stay and watch just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Keep y'all. Cool. Bye, Carl. No, I, I completely understand, like, if internally you're battling with yourself. I just feel bad for him. On the next episode of Web Life. Hey. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what if I was homeless? What if I was a destitute? Right. Like, what if I couldn't take care of myself? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Brandon, you know, I love Brandon, but me and Brandon be having this. We got this real love hate type deal going on. He speaks less than of a lot of different types of people who do work get money for sex. Girl, girl. I heard about what? Mikey and Brandon fucking. I like, heard. Girl, what's the history between you and Mike? Girl, no. <laughs> Look at it. I feel as though every time I'm around, it's shady. Okay. You good? Yeah. So, what is this that I'm hearing about 
you and Mikey. Why did we hear about it? Yeah, it's good. I yanked my monkey ass up, threw me into the bed. You know when somebody bring you into the bathroom, that you. Okay. That's a problem, okay. okay? I feel as though he still may have feelings for you. Do you think Mikey want to be with you? I believe so. I don't know. You don't understand the thin line between thick and fat. There's a thin line. And as always, thank you for your outpour of love and support. You're watching Red Light.